Hi, everybody. All right, it is May 10, 2021. The censorship in our country is so intense now that I don't feel like I am an American living in the United States of America. I'm sure a lot of you feel the same. So I'm going to go through a lot of information and um, and and a lot of the information, I'm just going to be reading the headlines just in case some of you don't know how intense the censorship is getting in our country. Um, and then end with proof that Facebook and uh, Twitter and YouTube, and Google, and all of these huge social media platforms are not private companies. In fact, I'm going to say that they are fronts for government, for military, for intelligence agencies like the CIA. Fronts. So for all of those who have the opinion, well, they're private companies. They can do what they want. Wrong. They are literally killing off the First Amendment, our freedom of speech. These people are beyond sick. Susan, whoa, whoa, sicky. YouTube CEO admits users don't like boosting of authoritative mainstream channels, but they do it anyway because it doesn't matter. I get to decide what people will see and hear on YouTube because I'm the CEO. Okay. Yeah, they've been artificially gaming their own search engine to ensure that the independent content creators are buried underneath a wall of mainstream media content. When you do a search on YouTube to find out what is taking place on any of the agendas, any of the issues that we now face, you will see page after page after page, mainstream media, mainstream media, mainstream media. Rigged? Oh, yeah. So severe that the company basically broke its own search engine with some videos posted by independent creators, almost impossible to find, even if you put in the exact title. Oh, how often have I faced that. This change was to help struggling mainstream media networks? Really? Mainstream media news. YouTube has to help them. Really? Whoa, sicky. Said the decision to push authoritative search results was made after the Nice massacre, but that even after the change, these results were performing poorly in terms of engagement. The users don't want to actually see it. They don't want to see authoritative news sources eating up page after page after page. I guess they want to hear from maybe ordinary people. Maybe they want to hear from people who actually have done the research and post the truth. Maybe they want to hear the truth. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. According to Susan Wosicki, we have a responsibility. Something happened in the world, and it's important for our users to know. So you only get to hear from mainstream media news. In the years since Wosicki made this decision, YouTube has rigged the site heavily in favor of authoritative sources to the point that they now are 10 times more likely to top the search results for some news events. While, yeah, YouTubers, yeah, I, I, I don't even like that phrase. Um, independent journalists who are real journalists, but they've 
left mainstream media because they couldn't do the propaganda. And experts in their field, um, people like me, won't get even recommended for breaking news or any news now. This was back in 2020. The company's disdain for its own user base was also underscored by its chief product officer, Neil Moham, insulting non-mainstream media YouTube creators as basement-dwelling idiots. This followed a new policy by the company to remove any content that challenged the World Health Organization's official coronavirus guidelines. Now, as I'm speaking, I'm thinking, oh, God, I can get a community guideline strike on this video because people are actually being censored for posting information about the censorship. So it's not just, you know, you post something that goes against the World Health Organization. You post anything that goes against the official narrative with anything that's taking place, you can get deleted. So, <clears throat> Forbes, Forbes, okay, mainstream media now is telling readers, you should not do your own research. Uh-uh-uh, don't do that research. There was another article that came out. Uh, uh, mainstream media, ordinary people should not do any research on science because you're too stupid and you don't understand science. This should infuriate all Americans if, but if they were of sound mind. Okay, Google bans website Zero Hedge from its ad platform over comments on protest articles. Really? Um, Senator Blumenthal demands Facebook and Twitter curb vaccine skeptic conversations. Okay, this guy should have been removed from his office if the American people and New Yorkers were of sound mind. We had free speech in our country. Guess what? It's gone. We've got mainstream media journalists, we've got academics, we've got these politicians calling for the removal of information because it doesn't go along with the official narrative coming from Fauci, Gates, World Health Organization. And Americans can't see something might be wrong with that. You can only hear... You can only hear the voice of really Fauci now. Don't you think that there might be more experts in the world that you might want to hear from? Well, social media platforms and our politicians who actually took an oath to uphold the Constitution are destroying the First Amendment. Uh, do you not see, I, I can't believe people can't see this. It's, it's frightening. Senator and former Minnesota family doctor, family doctor of the year, being investigated for questioning, questioning COVID death certificates. This is, this is East Germany. This is Germany during World War II, Nazi Germany. This is Soviet Union. This is China. Twitter claims exclusive truth on vaccines. All others will be banned. That truth? World Health Organization and Fauci. FDA warns Dr. Mercola to stop writing about vitamin D? Well, you'll see what happened with Dr. Mercola and what he finally had to do with his website. A doctor, the FDA is warning a doctor that he not write about vitamin D. Okay, 
Twitter permanently, permanently bans Gateway Pundit founder Jim Hoft from platform. Twitter suspends Project Veritas for confronting Facebook censorship. And then Twitter permanently bans Project Veritas. Twitter permanently bans my pillow CEO. How dare you, Mike Lindell, say anything about Trump? Yeah. All right. I, I just, I have to say this. Americans, if you don't wake up, get out of your slumber. Democrats in particular. If you don't start fighting against what your Democrat party is doing, you are absolutely 100, and I'm not even going to say complicit. You are directly, directly responsible for the killing off of our free speech. You like it? Because the Democrats, the leftist, crazy communists, they're not Democrats. Um, they're the ones who are out front really destroying all all that we had. And baby boomers, man, was this country different when we were growing up and we had opportunities and we could say what we wanted to say. Now this country is already a communist state. Oh yeah, roll your eyes. You roll your eyes when I say that. It just means that you are so grossly uninformed about what is taking place. That's what was great about the internet. Now it's getting harder and harder to find information that will actually educate you, but it's still there. If the internet was used by most people to really educate themselves and find out what's going on in life instead of just using it to game, you know, or to stream movies or to shop. Yeah. So, on the right, the left, social media giants, Silicon Valley nutcases, they are closing down closing down <laughs> all Republicans. You can't have a voice, Republicans, because the left has decided you can't speak. Mike Lindell, CEO of MyPillow, permanently banned from Twitter. Twitter's censorship of big pharma critics is a worldwide phenomenon. It is worldwide. Um, and even by Democratic Party standards, censoring Fox News. Fox, you're going to censor? You're going to censor? Now, look, I'm not saying I like Fox News. I'm not saying I'm a Republican. I'm not saying I, that I like a lot of, you know, the speech that I hear. But I will defend your right to speak it because you kill off the free speech of a particular class of people. It's only a matter of time before your speech gets killed off. Twitter to permanently ban users who spread COVID misinformation. Twitter admits to censoring criticisms of the Indian government. That's right. Anybody who says anything about what is taking place in India that the Indian government doesn't like, you get put down the memory hole. Facebook bans all stop the steal content. Okay. Well, there was a lot of fraud if you looked into it and actually recognize that, hey, maybe the Democrats were lying. Oh, my God. Government officials lie? Yeah, they do. You all know it. 
And I'm talking to the Amer- I'm not talking to you guys, but I'm talking to the American people you know. You know. You have known for decades the lying sacks of crap in Washington, D.C. You've known it. You've accepted it. And guess what? It's not a good idea to accept liars. Okay, so let's just get rid of them. Facebook bans all stop the steal content. What the Republicans wanted, and this is going on in Arizona, Maricopa County, audit. That's their right. Audit. Audit the election results. Audit. But we actually have now an attorney general of the United States threatening those county officials for actually doing an audit? Are you, I'm sorry, this all reflects the American people and where they're at with their friggin' brains. We would not be living this if the majority of Americans were of sound mind, and they're not. Glenn Greenwald, there's a few A few that were essentially on, you know, the Democrat side, Glenn Greenwald, um, Matt Taibbi, Jimmy Dore, coming out. Uh, Glenn Greenwald, I heard an interview just the other day. Glenn Greenwald has no longer been invited on Democracy Now! And if you know Democracy Now! and Amy Goodman, and if you've, you know, uh, watched it, you know, for years, way back when, you saw Glenn Greenwald all the time on Democracy Now! No longer, because Amy Goodman is mainstream media news. Media suppression of Biden family. Corruption story, a historic crime and dis. Grace and mainstream media, boom. You can only have one narrative. Even the New York Post. They closed the New York Post's Twitter account because the New York Post posted on how corrupt this guy is. What, Democrats, do you think your your party are just filled with angels? <laughs> it's, it's a joke. It's such, whoa, frightening. New York College, oh, universities and colleges too. The conservatives on the college are being shut up. And, you know, people still pay to go to college and universities, which is, well, amazing in itself. YouTube's dangerous crackdown on independent journalists. It defies all logic and reason. Matt Taibbi. There's a few, a few, who are actually telling the truth and they're being silenced. YouTube creators espousing opinions in their basement can't provide context on the news. Yeah, people who believe this They think that, oh, my God, all of these people who aren't mainstream media reporters, oh, they're getting so shamed. But I better not watch them or listen to them because I'll be shamed. What stupid infantile thinking is that? Um. Alex Berenson, former New York Times writer, a journalist, speaks out after Amazon censors his latest COVID book. Facebook bans Australian member of parliament for anti-lockdown posts. How dare he have a different take on lockdowns? Well, you can't share it, and we certainly can't talk about it. Why? Because there's an agenda 
going on. And we have to preserve that agenda. And we have to force people into believing what we are doing is for your own safety as we would destroy your livelihood, destroy your family, destroy your businesses. YouTube is now blocking us. Uh, U.S., U.S., U.S. Senate hearings <laughs> because they don't like what is being said. YouTube has removed Trump's CPAC speech. You know, when you see a United States president, and I don't care what you think of this Trump. I don't care what you think of him. We have now the silencing of a U.S. president. Hello, Americans. Let me knock on your collective skull to see if there is a brain in there. Unbelievable. You can't hear from Republicans. Facebook deletes 120,000 member group where people posted stories uh, oh, of, well, I can't say it. But that's enough for this video to go down. Down the memory hole. I don't like the fact that I am an American and now I have to, you know, feel a little <gasps> angst about what I'm posting and it's pretty much everything of what I'm posting. I'm not saying anything, anything that violates community guidelines, that um, should be silenced, nothing. But now... My life was deleted online. <laughs> Facebook bans, ban life site news. This is moveon.org. Oh, that leftist. Yeah, let me just get all of the signatures and all of the money I possibly can get. Moveon.org called for the banning of life site news because it spreads lies and misinformation about abortion. Whoa. I may disagree with an awful lot of, of you know, these sites or people speaking, but they have a right to speak it. And how, who the hell goes to moveon.org anymore? What a friggin' leftist failure of an organization, but they made a shitload of money, that's for sure. Well, guess what? Facebook permanently removes life site news page. <laughs> N-A-R-A-L, pro-choice America. YouTube's decision to deplatform anti-choice life site news. Well, we are going to respond with uh, applause, <laughs> applause for YouTube, the platforming LifeSite News, because we don't like what LifeSite says. See, we can't have any debate anymore in this country. We cannot have any reasonable, rational conversation. Now they're forcing upon you one view, one take one opinion, that is it. That's called totalitarianism. That's a dictatorship. That's Soviet uh, Union, that, that's uh, Russia, that's China, that's now the United States. You like it? Those on the left, I'm sure, love it. Because they don't live their principles. They just want to win. They just want to win. Oh, I don't want to see any information about, you know, um, abortion and uh, those who oppose it. I don't want to see that information. Take it off, please. I can't handle it. Are you freaking kidding me? YouTube silencing of life site is a chilling example of censorship. That's exactly what it is. Exactly.
You must not do your own research when it comes to science. Because you're an idiot. You don't understand. You can only listen to the mainstream media scientists. That's it. Wow. Forbes. Jonathan Turley, thank God, <laughs> for some. Also, I believe he was a Democrat. Um, and his blog or his site, man, is this man definitely overworked now. Because on his site, you will see so many articles. Oh, and they generally uh, are about our constitutional violations, um, constitutional rights being violated every freaking day. But the censorship, Facebook's Orwellian censorship push, their insidious campaign to destroy free speech. That's exactly what is going on here. Not private companies. They are taking orders from military, from government, from intelligence agencies, from those behind the curtain who are pulling the strings of the puppets that you actually see on mainstream media to uh, create a whole new world order where the 99% will be slaves. The 1%. Well, they'll be enjoying their life. Censorship in America is getting out of hand. Sure is. Sure is. A whole lot of people are being censored now used to be the religious right that wanted to censor teaching children about evolution in schools. Uh, wanted to censor sex education. That's no longer true. We're now seeing active censorship coming from those who identify as liberals, leftists. Censorship is now the norm. Free speech is officially gone. The real world and the narrative world. Now, I'm going to link below, not to everything because it, I, I don't have enough room. Um, you're limited to characters, a certain amount of characters. But these articles I'm going to link to. Very interesting. Good reads. The real world and the narrative world. Uh, Caitlin Johnstone. The real world is being... Xed, deleted, put down the memory hole for the narrative world, the manufactured reality coming out of mainstream media, reporters, propaganda. That's all you will get soon enough. Propaganda, not the truth, not real journalism that's been dead for a long time. Real world <clears throat> means that you have to look into the truth about the world. They don't want you to have the truth. They want you to only, only, only be able to talk about their manufactured reality, have one view, one opinion. That's it. And you don't get to question anything. Nada. How did we get here? We got here, Americans, accepting lie after lie after lie after lie, voting for the lesser of two evil, voting for which liar are you going to choose? What is this? Trump will never be allowed back on Twitter. That's scary. I don't care what you think about Trump. The practice of what they are doing, implementing this kind of censorship against a U.S. president is so blatantly dangerous to our Constitution, to our own freedoms, and so many people literally applaud this. They applaud it. There are sick people who are a danger to those who kind of enjoy freedom. 
why Dems pushing to censor Fox News is an insanely stupid idea. Matt Taibbi, um, uh, that was his article. Um, Amazon quiet, quietly ends sales of books. It labels hate speech. Who gets to determine what is hate or hateful? All of these terms are left undefined. You want to know what hate speech is? Go against the official narrative. That's it. You don't accept what's being forced down your throat every single day? You're hateful. So, um, wow, Twitter would not let me post a Stanford study on Science Direct about the evidence regarding masks, as Twitter's experts deem it harmful. Naomi Wolf. Dr. Naomi Wolf. <laughs> Yeah, you can't post a link. Hell, you can't even write song lyrics without thinking about what you are writing. Spotify now censoring song lyrics that contain misinformation. This is not the United States. Get it. We are already living. Getting this propaganda, just like, you know, we used to talk about the Soviet Union, right? Oh, my God, their government just puts out the propaganda. They're lying to, you know, their citizens. And hello, here we are. Well, Facebook's Supreme Court has upheld Trump's ban. Yeah, and when you listen to those on the left, those Democrat government officials, they say, well... Yeah, it was determined by an independent board. Really? Okay. Ah, uh, we're in big, big, big trouble. Twitter account sharing Trump statements suspended by a social media giant. Not Trump, but you post anything about Trump. If it's not bad, bada boom, you're gone. Professor, this is all recent. Professor suspended after denying Canada is a racist country and criticizing BLM. Can't do that anymore. You cannot do that anymore. You cannot have a different opinion. You cannot have a debate. You have, you, we, we are, we're all being forced to believe something coming from someone else. Dare to voice opposition. Mount Allison University professor Rima Azar feels a strong identification to Canada. Born in Lebanon during a civil war, Azar developed a lasting appreciation for the freedoms of Canada, particularly free speech. How many people are we hearing coming from countries and they escape their countries because they don't want to live uh, without the freedoms that this country offered and Canada offered and, and Australia offered? And guess what? Now we're just like the, companies, uh, the countries they escaped. Unbelievable. And you lose your livelihood now if you disagree. Suspended. How many people have been canceled by the Maoist Red Guards all over the United States? Canceling people because they have a different opinion. This should horrify everyone. But, uh, you know, the First Amendment was put in as the First Amendment because it was really important. If you don't have free speech, you ain't got freedom. 
So, my pillow, my Clindell, terminated from Vimo for uploading banned content. This is worse than what Twitter did to me and my company. They're destroying people's companies. But I guess, I guess most people just don't care. Hey, who cares? We do not, this is what Vimo states. We do not allow accounts that upload content created by or mainly featuring a banned user. Oh, Trump is a banned Vimo user as well. As the purpose of your account is to promote content from a banned user, it has been removed. We wish you the best of luck in finding a hosting platform better suited to your needs. They're destroying people's livelihood. <sighs> okay, here. This last night I got. So, Dr. Mercola purges his website of articles on vitamins D, C, zinc, and COVID-19. Why? Because if he doesn't, his entire website will be gone. I purged all my COVID-19 videos off of my primary channel. Why? Because they will terminate my channel, though this video could get me terminated. The popular natural medicine doctor, Joseph McCullough, has announced he has purged his website of what he sees as valuable, factually accurate scientific information he says the reason is unspecified threats. Unfortunately, threats have now become very personal and have intensified to the point I can no longer preserve much of the information and research I've provided to you thus far. So effective immediately, much of the information on my website will be permanently removed. So Dr. Joseph Mercola, Mer Mercola is... Uh, not an unknown guy. He's got an awful lot of people going to his website. Okay, I'm not even going to read, but I will link below to this. Um, all of the attacks, everything that's going on. Um, here, one organization wrote, the solution is not complicated. It's time for Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey to turn off this toxic tap and completely remove the small handful of individuals spreading this fraudulent misinformation about you know what. If it was just a small individual's, they wouldn't need to do any of this. The small individuals, they would just be marginalized. And if they were posting disinformation, misinformation, or lies, then, uh, well, this wouldn't even be on our radar. It's on our radar because I guess there's an awful lot of people who are Voicing things that the establishment doesn't like. Soros-backed prosecutor faces disciplinary hearing for misconduct in prosecution of the ex-Missouri governor. Okay. Uh, this is here because state attorneys now are calling for the removal of people like Tucker Carlson. Fox News, these people also take an oath to uphold the Constitution. But they're calling for removal because they claim it's biased and racist. Oof, wow. Soros-backed prosecutor, all over our country do we have Soros-funded state attorneys. Soros. 
could it be that people still actually think that that guy is just, oh, he's so fabulous. He's a Nazi. I don't care if he's Jewish. He's a Nazi. And he is so destroying, not just, well, our country, but an awful lot of countries. He's a big player, a big puppet player, those behind the curtain. Biden White House working with Silicon Valley to censor vaccine criticism. What? Biden White House working with Silicon Valley, meaning Biden White House working with Google, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, to censor information. Well, how can that be? Didn't he take an oath to uphold the Constitution? Um, let's just listen to what he has to say here. He's a great partner. And do you believe you'll be running against former President Trump? Oh, come on. I don't even think about it. I don't have, I have no idea. I have no idea whether it'll be a Republican Party. What? I have no idea if there's going to be a Republican Party? That few words spoken by a United States president should scare the shit out of people and get them motivated to denounce this guy. I don't know if there's going to be a Republican Party. Well, when you know on a daily basis what they are doing to the Republicans, and I was a lifelong Democrat until I walked away even before, walk away hashtag, and didn't walk across to the other you know, side. I backed away, and I began to watch, and I saw, oh, we don't have two parties. We really have only one party. But then I began to see how batshit crazy is this party. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they all got together and, you know, party hardy and they just never came back from their acid trips or something. But something's very wrong with the Democrats. Seriously wrong. They've lost their minds. And I don't know if there's going to be a Republican Party. When you have the kind of censorship that's taking place on social media right now, getting away with, getting away with, because Americans are doing friggin' nothing, getting away with, literally, silencing the Republicans by deleting them, Putting them down the memory hole. Oh, you don't get to have a voice. You're a, you're you're a conservative in college. You don't get to have a voice. You're a conservative uh, Republican. You don't get to have a voice. That's what's happening. Do you know, do you have any idea how important this is? It's very important. United Nations enlists 10,000 digital volunteers to fight COVID-19 misinformation. NATO is involved as well. Canada. Uh, their government introduces first ever internet control bill. <laughs> you were all uh, every one of us in the UK, Scotland, uh, everywhere, all Western countries, not only English-speaking countries, all Western countries in particular, are being brought right smack into the open door of totalitarianism. And Frankly, watching all of this, it's really, it's pretty heartbreaking to see how easy the 
how easy it has been. But when you can't question authority, because I'm a little child. Yeah, I know I have wrinkles and I have this adult body, but I'm a little child and I've got to follow my authority figure, what they say. The fact is, they are destroying all of us. Those who are going along with the tyrants, they're destroying our lives. Everybody should be really upset about that. Jonathan Turley again, Facebook's Orwellian censorship push. Did I read this? I think I did. Uh, but Facebook deletes, yeah, I read that. Uh, censorship is now the norm, yeah, I read that. now the norm. Okay. How democracy dies. Oh, that word democracy is... Well, it triggers an irritation in me because we're not a democracy. Constitutional republic, but I did notice in the 80s and the 90s, all these government officials, no one said constitutional republic. Everybody was saying democracy. I was like, it's weird. They didn't want Americans to know they actually live in a constitutional republic. God forbid they should do a little bit of research about how their government was actually founded, and they'd be horrified to see how it actually operates. So, Facebook hires NATO press officer Ben Nemo as intelligence chief. Military? Social media? Hand in hand? Oh, yeah. All we get is propaganda now. Matt Taibbi. Open one party orthodoxy. That's all we, we are now. A one party, and you got to go along with the party. Because you know if you don't, well, you will have your life deleted. Now, a whole lot of people think, what's the big deal? So, it, it's the internet, so it's YouTube, so it's Facebook, so it's Twitter. An awful lot of people, now that our lives have, well, been brought into the cyber world, this is where people have their businesses. This is where people are uh, deriving an, an income. It's a big deal. A very big, big deal. You know, CBS in 2011, social media is a tool of the CIA. Seriously, CBS News, 2011. You don't need to wear a tinfoil hat to believe that the CIA is using Facebook, Twitter, Google, and other social media to spy on people. That's because the CIA publishes a handful, a helpful list of press releases on all the social media ventures it sponsors via its technology investment arm in QTEL. I've posted, other people have posted. In QTEL, funding, getting started, startups, in QTEL, a whole lot of people employed by InQtel, they pay attention to those geniuses in schools, public schools, uh, colleges, universities, and then they scoop them up. Then they fund them to get these startups. They funded Facebook big time. And Again, 
They're not private companies. The companies that take InQtel's money aren't shy about publicizing what they're up to. Most recently, GeoSemble announced an update to its GeoXray product, which monitors social media chatter based on location. The world's largest database on individuals, the CIA, and the world's largest ad agency network, WPP, have been in bed together on a social media data mining venture since 2009. WPP currently claims to own the world's largest database of unique individual profiles, including demographic, financial, purchase, and geographic histories. WPP's Visible Technologies Unit took an investment from InQtel in the fall of 2009. Visible Technologies develops tools that can scan social media networks such as Twitter and Facebook. WPP also funded Omnitour, a marketing agency, with $25, millions, uh, 25 million from uh, uh, WPP, sorry, in 2009. Omnitour's Visual Sciences Unit has also taken InQtel money. The CIA re-upped with visible technologies as part of another $6 million funding in 2011. Other companies that mine web data, web data and have taken InQtel's investments fetch technolo tech, uh, technologies, technologies, fetches customized software agents, navigate websites to instantly deliver meaningful, useful, and reliable data, and easily integrate with a company's existing data management system for immediate analysis. Clever Safe, cloud-based storage company that has wired notes, is ideal for storing mission critical data by addressing the core principles of data confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Incidentally, those principles also spell out CIA. Cloudera provides data storage software that makes it easy for governments to process and analyze vast amounts of information. Google and CIA, old friends. Google has been a partner with the CIA since 2004 when the company bought Keyhole, a mapping technology business that eventually became Google Earth in 2010, Google and InQtel's, InQtel made a joint investment on a company called Recorded Future, which has the minority report style goal of creating a temporal analytics engine that scours the web and creates curves that predict where events may head. Google is already helping the government write and rewrite history. CBS. They, every now and then, actually do publish the truth. Here, from its transparency report, are some stats on the amount of information it has either given to the government or wiped, but this is in 2011. 4,601 requests for U.S. government agencies for user data. Uh, oh, the numbers are much higher. Much higher. They were much higher in 2011. But this is what Google has actually reported. So, uh, did you know that the CIA has their own DARPA, but it's IARPA? research programs for the CIA. This is the DARPA equivalent for the CIA. I'll link to it. So the next video, I'm just going to read this and it'll be the part two of this video. It's very serious what's taking place. Very, very serious. Uh, and it comes down to whether you want to be free or not. I mean, that is what it's coming down to. 1984.
Every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and street building has been renamed. Every date has been altered. And the process is continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Nothing exists except an endless present in which the party is always right. If this strikes you as, oh my God, this is what we are living, you have a pretty good handle on what is taking place. If you think this is just fiction and we're not living it, you don't know what is taking place. So I'll just read another quote here. Walt Whitman, resist much, obey little, little. Once unquestioning obedience, once fully enslaved, no nation, state, city of this earth ever afterwards resumes liberty. Resist much, obey little. little. And what are we seeing? We're seeing most people obey everything and resist nothing. So those are the people who are destroying us. Do not think it's the psychopathic, narcissistic nut jobs who are, who have designed this new world in which we are now living. Do not think it's those who are implementing. You know, do not think it's the mainstream media reporters or those government officials. It's the American people taking their orders from their authority figure that are destroying us because they are resisting nothing and obeying everything.